What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new V3.6 Season 7 King of the Continent update. We've got a video here, but it is based around, you guessed it, Leo Messi. Now we did a full 10 hour stream uh, yesterday when we did, talked about and went through everything. You guys can watch that, you can watch it back. You don't need to be members, you don't need to do anything. You can just watch it for free all on the channel on YouTube. But this is what we covered. We covered all the managers, all the players. And I'm just going to give you a quick run through of this and then go into the new content in a little bit more detail in individual videos so we do have a brand new messy pack and a messy player card it's a big time messy card and this is going to be a very good card if you do not have any other beastly versions of messy but there's been so many versions of messy i think i've 12 in total or something like that but it is the world cup style messy but the current one now you also get scaloni with this which is the manager and griezmann is going to have the same right so he's going to have a big time card this Griezmann card, lads, I will do player guides, reviews of the managers and all new cards and national team packs in individual videos. So keep an eye on the channel for that. Smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Griezmann's pack also comes with a selection of French players. Messi's pack comes with Argentina players. And of course, they get the managers as well, which we'll talk about in a second. There's also other national team packs. Now, these are not premium packs. These are actually for 900 coins. So the Brazilian pack and the Turkish pack that you see here as well as the English pack that we're going to see in a second. Um, they're for 900 coins, right? And Portugal. There's a Portugal pack for 900 coins. You see here being uh, modeled by Cristiano Ronaldo with the zoo from the free kick. Obviously, hoping to inspire his team in Euro 2024. This is Ronaldo's pack here that you see with Martinez. Every one of these packs come with a manager, right? Now, we're going to skip on over this because it's just Trent talking about a couple of different bits and pieces. We're going to skip on that, right? But let's get straight into it, right? Because it is kicking off a brand new campaign. There's a lot of stuff that they've added and this is going to be the place to watch everything. We're going to go through it quick, no fluff and get to the point on everything. King of the Continent, Volume 1. It's only going to be running for a week and then there's going to be a second volume coming out as well. So it's going to be spread over the, the, the course of a few weeks, um, this King of the Continent Season 7, right? You're also going to be getting a brand new card pack called Phenomenal Pass. We'll get into that in a second. And of course, we're going to be getting freebies as well. And we'll get through all of that as well. We get a brand new kit that we see here added, right? Now, this is the thing that I want to talk about as well. Badges. We'll get into that. I'm going to do a dedicated video on these badges. What they mean, what they could mean for the future of eFootball 2025. And we finally, finally, finally look like we have something to grind for. Other than meaningless ranking in divisions with no rewards. It looks like we have something to grind for now here. And there's been a big change to the eFootball League as well. So let's just crack on with everything, right? Firstly, just to cover a few basics, okay? The V3.6 update. If you missed any of that, we did a 10-hour stream, as I said, covering everything, okay? You can check out everything there. This is what they fixed. Defense, goalkeeping, shooting, and a couple of bugs and issues here and there. I would say after playing it for 10 hours on stream, and you can go back and check it, I would say that they have tweaked the dribbling, they have tweaked the defense aggression of the AI. It's not as interception, it is, the interceptions are still there, right? Um, but the aggression from the AI is not as aggressive, it's not as crazy. I would probably say, if I was to put a number on it, I would say that the defensive uh, aggression from the AI has been toned down about 10 to 15 percent and the dribbling has been boosted up about 10 or 15 percent. So it does make a bit of a difference. Also, possession and spacing on the pitch seems to be a little bit better. The game is a little bit slower in a way because there isn't as much suffocation and suffocating defense and suffocating aggression, right? But again, we'll get into that. We did the big stream on that, but that is it there. They also have updated strips and kits and all that, right? Now, on this, this is the brand new kit that you get. This is free for everybody. So it doesn't cost points, coins, nothing. It's free. You don't need to grind it. They're just giving it to you for free. It's actually quite a nice kit. And then we also get a couple of early updates and season seven campaigns, okay? Now let's go through everything, right? So firstly, I'm going to cover the events before we get into the cards because we've got a lot of news on the cards, right? They've made a couple of changes and I'm going to show you a few of them. The first one is that they've added two mock-up Euro 2024 and Copa Americana Cups that you play against the AI. And for the first time ever, I would say, in eFootball 24, they actually, when you pick a team, you use your, your normal team. So everyone's probably going to pick France. We'll just pick France here. But you are using your dream team, right? And you also get this as a full tournament. Obviously, it doesn't have the official logo because it doesn't have the license. But once you pick your team here, you are going to be getting as the top prize 50 eFootball coins. You can play on any difficulty. It doesn't matter what difficulty that you play it on. You can play on beginner or amateur and just hold the ball at the back and get a goal. Or you can test yourself on legend. 
it doesn't matter you get more gp but you get the same eFootball coins for completing. You get the group out of the way. It's a full model group on Euro 2024. Once you get the group out of the way, you get 50 eFootball coins, right? And that's going to be it. And also, you are going to be using any players that you have for the nationality that you pick or any team that you pick, right? So that's going to be 50 eFootball coins that you get for free to play against the AI. You can literally do this on the lowest difficulty. In the knockout stage, you're also be getting, going to be getting another 50 eFootball coins. And it's the same thing. This will obviously be unlocked naturally as you progress through it and once you get through the group stage, right? Also, that is rinsed and repeated in the American Cup here, which is the same. So you get 50 eFootball coins for the group stage in both of these and 50 for winning the tournament. So you get 200 in total. It's the exact same premise as we said there, except you're using South American teams for the Copa Americana, right? They've also added in the events here, um, they've added this goal and goal back. And they've also added an offline co-op uh, event as well, where you're playing against you and two teammates, or one teammate against the AI on whatever difficulty that you choose. The European and the national events are still ongoing. Um, these are just rinse and repeat, and obviously you get your free Encore stars there as normal. You get your free eFootball coins on the other one. Now, let me talk about eFootball League, right? Because they've made a couple of changes to this, which they'll explain here. If you go in now and look at the eFootball League rankings, you do not have the rankings on the player's uh, screen anymore, right? So you just have these badges. Now we're going to get into these badges and what they mean. I'm going to do a dedicated breakdown because these badges could be game changing for the future of eFootball 2025. I'm not going to get too carried away, but we will discuss why they could be game changing, right? So some people will have badges, some people won't. This guy has none. It depends on what badges you put on or if you want to have badges. Um, but the rank is gone. You can't see his previous top rank or what current rank he's in. When you're matchmaking with somebody now, you can see their current rank and that's it. So if you matchmake with somebody and he's division two, you will matchmake with him and that's it. But you can't see his previous, you know, ranking or his top ranking or anything like that. Everything else here is pretty much the same. We have a new match pass as well, obviously. Um, and we do have a lot of new objectives here as well. Daily game, there's nothing upgraded in the daily game. There's no new players. There's nothing in the eFootball point store or the shop. They're not there, they've been replaced with packs, and that's a video in itself, right? I'm not going to go too much deep on the packs, because that's probably what everyone wants to see, but you have basically one, two, three, four, five, six packs here, and all of these come with a manager and a full squad, right? So this is 1,500 coins, the French one is a premium 1,500 coins, because they come with big time Messi and Griezmann, and then the rest of these, the four, there's a couple of omissions, there's no Germany, Italy, Netherlands, there's a couple of national teams missing, right? But this English pack, you will notice here that when you go into the manager of Garrett Southgate, he is going to now have a double team playstyle proficiency. I will yet again do, this is just an overview video, I will do a deep dive on these team playstyle proficiencies, right? But you get all of these players as well. I will have full reviews on every single one of these packs, right? Every single one of these packs. Also, I would say that the pick of them is the Champs. You get the Griezmann here is unbelievable. You get Dembele, Kamavinga. You also get Shuamene. Very, very good cards. Giroud is nice as well. And the Shams has got 88 long ball counter, which a lot of people will like with a booster to speed. So it's kind of like the Ten Hag uh, additional one there as well, right? And then you have Scaloni as well, who's got a double play style proficiency. You can switch from possession game to quick counter or quick counter to possession game with low passes to booster. This is going to be very OP, but I definitely think that Gareth Southgate is going to be the one. But as I said, we'll do a review on a video, an individual video for each player pack, training guide, review the players, how I train them, best stats, skills to give them, and the manager with gameplay as well. It's going to take me a bit of time, but we will get through it, right? So that's the packs. The cards that they've added as well, I'm not going to focus too much on them either because we will do reviews of the packs. Obviously, you've got the brand new one here, which is a phenomenal pass. We got a free spin at that, but there, the three pass uh, players there, phenomenal pass players there. You've got Simmons, you have got Pedri, and of course, you do have Bernardo Silva. And they're also going to be in a box. You get one free spin at that as well. And then also you have Japanese epics here, the J-League epics, excuse me, as well as Encore Stars, which is going to be 33 players of previous players that they have released. Kevin De Bruyne has got new hairstyle and new face. There's a couple of players that have been added, but these are basically a best of kind of end of season, best of player of the week cards from the domestic league player of the weeks, not the European ones. We had that last month. You also have European and national team selection for the worldwide in here, uh, both of them, European and worldwide national team selections. That's just a selection of cards um, that you see here. I'll have a review on those. And of course, we also have the French pack, which is going to be free. So you will be getting all five of these players for free. 
And you will also be getting five Argentina ones for free as well. D's King of the Continent and P of the Player of the Month, Player of the Month, Brazilian and J-League. They're not great. These are probably quite poor nominating contracts, not, not, not the best ones. Um, but there are some really nice cards in here. And as I said, we will do a full review on all of these and we'll do a full review and training guide on these five players, including probably best ever free Mbappe they've ever released since the original one. Now, last thing I want to talk about, lads, before we do individual videos on these di deep dives, I want to talk about the actual missions that you have here and what they've kind of added to the game now, right? So you will see here that there's leagues in focus, which will be brand new additional stuff here, objectives. Also, there's going to be weekly objectives here that you can get. And these are just going to be new as well that are going to be added and refreshed every week. And then also there's king of the content here. So this seems to be new here. So we're going to get a chance deal Argentina for just logging into the game. And this is going to go the whole way. So for example, if you log into the game seven, week, seven days in a row, you are literally going to be getting 100 coins every seven days now. It's kind of changed a bit. You'll also be getting all of these objectives to work through. That is building towards the new badge system. Now I'm going to get into this badge system because I definitely think it's going to be really nice to grind. You go over to user information, go to user details, and of course you can go here and it says introduce some badges, achieve milestones and earn badges, hallmarks of your various achievements in eFootball. Aim for a higher grade. Badges have grades that correspond to the different levels of difficulty. It shows your badges. You can choose up to three badges to show others, right? So when we go to this with the new avatar, we can either choose an avatar here. You can pick whatever player that you want. It doesn't really make a difference. We can pick King Collar with the black background there, kind of the moon background. And also with these badges here, this is how you unlock them, right? So everybody is going to get this just for having a badge there for starting the game, right? That's going to replace on here. But look at some of these badges. And as I said, we're going to do a deep dive on these. This is what you earn and it's something to grind. So you will see here different grades, right? So to unlock this core badge from its level one, you need to win 100 PvP matches. Then you can upgrade your badge to five grades, win 500 matches, win 1500 matches, win 3000 matches, win 5000 matches, online, player versus player. There's also ones for against the AI, team play style, just various matches. You also have co-op, you also have my league, and of course you have these ones here as well that says 24 to 25, which was a bug. But obviously they have started now to plan for eFootball 2025, right? Now there are some of them lads that are going to be very difficult. Look at this one here, man. 10,000 goals to unlock the last grade five. I know a lot of people are going to be spamming these, definitely, to try and get them to try and brag. This one, score 30,000 goals against the AI. 15,000 matches. Play 15,000 matches to get that one. It's, incre it's incredible, man. It really is incredible. There's going to be some serious, serious bragging rights to go here, honestly. Um, I'm going to be interested to see how people do with this. But that is essentially what you need to do. There's co-op ones, there's everything. We're going to do a deep dive on that, what I think it could mean for eFootball 2025, but that is essentially how to see those badges and how to unlock them and upgrade them and pick which ones you want. They have also added these customizable, well, they're not customizable, but you can pick your own emojis for co-op. It's just something small. But overall, lads, I think V3.6 has been very, very nice. They've set the tone uh, for the game. They've given you a lot of free stuff. As I said, there is also the free packs. You were going to be getting, over the course of about four or five maybe two weeks, you're going to be getting the five Argentina pack players here and the, the five French players. We'll do all training guides on all of these. If you guys want a specific video that I haven't mentioned, we're going to do all the builds. We're going to do all the packs, all the new manager reviews. We're going to do the new meta. We're going to do gameplay breakdown. We're going to also do the badges deep dive and a couple of other bits and pieces. Let me know what you guys want to see. We haven't even touched on the new match pass. There is a new match pass as well there as well. There's a lot of stuff to get to. This new match pass is going to have Nkunku, and of course, it's going to have this guy Diaz as well. Let me know what you guys want to see. Don't forget to smash that like button. And until next time, I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.